Hello and welcome! Let's paint an ultramarine in the second edition style. First of all, layer it up with some crack blue. Two coats should do it. Nice and thin. Coulda, shoulda, buddha by Uncle Bibby. We've heard it before, but we heard it again because it's so good. Okay, so a key component of your second edition style is the yellow trim. Um, I've extended that here to the molecular bonding studs just because it's a nice sort of spot colour and it's a nice little bit of pop without having to start painting red on his helmet and all the rest of it because he's not a sergeant. All right. So, yeah, get your yellow out. I've used the... What's it called? Avaland Sunset. That's what it's called. I've used that and I've just left it there because it's going on quite thin places. But you could extend it and you could start to add some browns in for shading and start to go for a non-metallic metal look. But they didn't do that back in the day of enamel paints, so I'm not doing it here. We are going for a very strict, very standard second edition style. Also watch out. I'll leave some of it in the editing for those mistakes I make and I'll just go back and clean them up um, this is why I'm going straight from the base coat to the yellow because yellow on blue obviously stands out but I can just go back over it with McCrag blue covers so easily Bob's your uncle innit? More music!
Yay! That was Bright Light by Little Glass Men, and it was awesome. Get out your iron, your sort of greyish dark metal colour. You can use some sort of bolt gun metal or otherwise. Do that, it's easy in it. Probably just edit it out with that. He's done, he's done. Adeptus Battle Grey. Got the grey out to just do all of the tubing. I guess you'd call it tubing if you're American. Tubing. Paint it. How exciting by Revolution Void. Okay, so cancel blue. As you can see, it's a darker blue. It's darker blue. Darker blue. You need a darker blue. Because what we're doing is just, rather than doing a wash, there's no washing, uh, just very finely line all the edges of the armour with a darker blue. You could even go darker. You could, you could even use black if you did very fine. Um, and some might say that's more old school than, than this. But I like this more. It's kind of like merging the old with the new, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Anyway, there I go. Um, have some more tunes and watch me dunes. Brunes. <laughs> uh, painting. The Execution of a Liar by Stevie Coombs or Combs. Okay, we're going to do some edge highlighting. The trick with this type of edge highlighting with the hearth blur, the hearth blur, seems to have stolen the shirt. Uh, yeah, keep it very fine. So there's a lot of using the edge of the brush 
um, and again tidying up where you have to just to keep, um, keep it really really fine see how careful I'm being on your face there the face there be very careful it's a very focal point of face so be very careful uh, and just go around the whole model doing that innit
same again but now just do it with the very very top edges with Russ Gray in it the music just said by the way was Facticity by Nylor not even funny but it makes me laugh but do it and this is this song now that you probably can hear now even because of editing skill is called Holding Hands by PC3 Ooh, and it just goes on like this
The reviews are in for that song and uh, nice but samey, I'd say. Okay, so he's looking finished now. If you presented that to someone on a gaming table, they would not spit in your face and that is always the aim. There, I got out some sort of black grey. Don't go to black with this because what we're going to do is some battle damage. Oh. So what you want to do for battle damage is, technique's really simple. For a scratch, you're going to do a, a, a small line of your grey. Then you're going to highlight that with your highlight colour. And also put a little line of black at the bottom. You'll see. You'll see. It's easy. I'll leave this normal speed. But it's easy. And effective. Okay, everyone, that was Someone Else's Memories by Revolution Void. Very good. There you go, it's done. I'll just put some Agrella and Earth on it. Um, what I'll also do, which you'll notice in a moment, is paint the gun red, like the old school. Like this. That's it. Easy as that. Um, little Easter egg of fun for you to come up. It's great. Hang around for it. If you like the video, uh, then comment, rate, subscribe, all the rest of it, share it. Have all the fun. 
and just fucking paint some stuff. <laughs> Bye. There you go, look like an absolute nutter. I've done a goblin green base, real old school. Thanks for making it this far, guys. Like, rate, and subscribe. See you soon for 8th edition.